Huh. There's a lot less stuff here than before. It's good to see you all here in one piece. I know you must have a lot of questions, but let Koichi check you over first. It's best not to let any lingering effects of the Abyss go untreated. Thank goodness you made it back. I came here as soon as the Pyro Archon told me about your plan. Take a seat, everybody. I'll examine you one by one. All right, that should do it for now. But just to be safe, I'll perform another checkup in a couple of days. I have to say, though, I've never seen anyone react to the Abyss like you, Traveler. It's like you're completely immune to its power. He always has been special like that. He can even purify its power. Wait, now- Given the current situation, that ability will likely play a great role in the events to come. Of course. I still have patience to see, so I'll head out. Thank you, Koichi. All right, all right. We might not see eye to eye, but we both had good intentions. Just give it time. I'm sure we'll figure things out between us one day. Yeah. All right. There's so much to discuss, I don't even know where to begin. You've seen it for yourselves now. The devastation in the Night Kingdom. I'll get straight to the point. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Huh? N no. That can't be true, can it? That's right. But I've only ever disclosed that fact to the handful of people working with me to save this nation. Our looming destruction is not a recent development, but the inevitable conclusion of the disaster the Abyss initiated 500 years ago. Mulani told us a little bit about that. 500 years ago, all the nations of Tevat were invaded by the Abyss. Unlike the other nations, Natlan never had stable and deep-rooted ley lines, so we suffered the worst of the invasion. The battle against the Abyss was exceedingly long and brutal. In the end, victory came at the cost of our civilization and countless lives. Even then, it took centuries of solving the disasters caused by the Abyss to finally achieve the peace we know today. And still, this is but a superficial victory. The forces of the Abyss have merely been driven back underground. Their threat to Natlan remains as real as ever. I... I'd never have guessed. The problems plaguing the Night Kingdom are all the more complicated because that realm is essentially functioning as Natlan's ley lines. Immediately after the war, our calculations estimated that we would have a maximum of 500 years before the Night Kingdom was completely lost to the Abyss. But at that time, we were a nation of the destitute. Our people no longer believed in victory, nor did they hold hope for the future. Our civilization was dying, our faith crumbling, and the line of power passed down from the Wyab nearly severed. If we didn't bring the nation back together, it would be foolish to even dream of defeating the Abyss in the future. So, the Archon had a long and involved discussion with the heroes of each tribe, and finally came up with a 500-year-long plan to save Natlan. So that's what happened. After finding Kachina, I encountered a strange figure who gave me a series of new memories. Since the plan was mentioned in those memories, I guess I've been chosen to play an important role in it. But there's still something I don't understand. Those memories showed me the Pyro Archon from back then. And it was you. Huh? But that doesn't make any sense! The Pyro Archon is supposed to be human! It's impossible for a human to live that long! That's right. The hardest thing for humans to overcome has always been time. Or rather, the natural limitations of our lifespan. A god can extend a human's life by using a certain amount of divine power, or subjecting them to a curse. But, as we all know, 
Natlan doesn't have gods like that. We can only rely on our own methods. A human life is like a flame destined to be extinguished. 500 years ago, I placed my life within the sacred flame. Only by dying before my time could I have the chance to wake up again. So, in other words, this is your second life? Yes. We only managed to defeat the Abyss all those years ago because the tribes came together as one. If the Natlan of the future was to have a fighting chance, the Pyro Archons that came after the war had to rebuild the decimated tribes. The goal was to reunite the people and restore the strength of each tribe's Wyab. Once a tribe was back to its full strength, the tribe's Wyab would select a hero, indicating the tribe was once again ready for war. The Chosen would then stand by my side in defense of our nation, just like great heroes of old 500 years ago. So that means... I'm one of the Chosen? That's right. You bear the ancient name Umoja, the same one held by the hero from your tribe 500 years ago. It means unity. After your adventure in the Night Kingdom, I trust you've come to fully understand the meaning of that name. So, in other words, you always knew who the Wyab were going to pick from each tribe? Yes. According to the plan, each tribe was supposed to have been fully restored by the time I awoke. But something went wrong along the way. The six heroes successfully inherited the ancient names from 500 years ago, but the intel regarding the plan wasn't passed on to them. Once again, it comes down to the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Communication between the Sacred Flame and the Wyab has been blocked. Just like how the Ode of Resurrection failed to bring Kachina back. Exactly. It's just another tactic the Abyss is using against us. The Abyss may not possess intelligence, but its methods certainly aren't easy to counter. If we want to unblock that information from being passed on, my presence alone isn't enough. The ancient name bearer must establish a greater connection to their name. So, I've tried my best to help them from the sidelines. Currently, Shalonen of the Children of Echoes, Kinich of the Scions of the Canopy, and Iansan of the Collective of Plenty have all been acknowledged by their names. During your adventure, you too earned the acknowledgement of your Wyab Mualani. In the process, you gained the memories stored within your name. But we have less than a year! Yes, but we have no choice. We cannot start the plan until all the heroes have been gathered. That's also why I haven't been able to take action despite the urgency of the situation. But if you knew this whole time, why didn't you just tell me about my role in all this? Wouldn't that make everything go a lot faster? Perhaps, but the opposite could also be true. Knowing your destiny too early could mean failing to realize your full potential. Just like your determination to save Kachina, I hope your commitment to this endeavor comes from your own strength of will, rather than a sense of obligation. So I suppose you're not going to tell us who the final two heroes are then? That's right. Their time is yet to come. Putting pressure on them beforehand will only hinder their development. I can only trust in the judgment of the Wyab. I have never believed I could solve this crisis alone. In fact, it was precisely because I chose to trust and rely on others that we managed to get this far. Natlan's salvation lies not in its Archon or any singular individual, but in us all. You're quite perceptive, aren't you? <sighs> I thought I might get away with avoiding the topic. Huh? Oh, right! All the stuff you stored here before, where did it all go? Even though I sacrificed my power, I still needed a contingency plan to ensure you would make it back from the Night Kingdom. After all, I was the one who allowed you to take that risk, and Mualani has an important role to play in my plan. In addition to their sentimental value, 
the items I stored here held a much more important purpose. Fuel. Fuel? Oh, so back then, that's why you... Yes. The stories embodied by those items are certainly important, but there's an even more significant trait they all share. Every item belonged to a hero of Natlan. Over time, they became imbued with a certain amount of contending fire from being carried in battle. On their own, each item's power is limited, but together their combined effect can prove quite useful in a dire situation. By burning those items, I was able to activate the contending fire stored within them to open the boundary between the two worlds. It was a rather crude approach, so all their power was depleted in an instant, as you can see. But aren't they all precious treasures? What about their stories? <sighs> That's exactly why I dragged you all here. No matter what, I never wanted the Pyro Archon to have to use that power. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. You all deserve my thanks, actually. If you hadn't saved the totem pole, that area of the Night Kingdom would have been forever lost to the Abyss. And then, it would only be a matter of time before the Children of Echoes was met with disaster. Besides, when those heroes entrusted their belongings to me, or the Pyro Archon of their time, it was out of a desire to contribute to Natlan's survival. If they knew those items helped save the present-day heroes of Natlan, they would not mourn their loss. Even when you put it that way, I still feel bad. <laughs> There's no need. Remember what I told you about time? The people and the events of the past are never truly lost to us. We simply carry them with us in a different form. In that sense, we didn't lose anything at all. If you still have regrets, let them fuel your resolve in the battles to come. Your deeds will become new legends and nurture new forms of power just like the items once stored here. Well, we'd still like to return the favor. <laughs> well, if that's the case, just treat me to a drink sometime. Now that Kachina has returned, we can finally hold the victory feast and celebrate your team's triumph in the Night Warden Wars. And we could all use the rest, that's for sure. Plus, you'll be able to silence everyone who doubted you once and for all, Kachina. <sighs> Still, now that I know the danger we're facing, having a victory feast doesn't feel right. Try not to let it get to you. It's important to stay calm. Worrying about it will only affect your judgment. All right, you should head out. I'll join you in a bit. When I was young, I used to sit by the hot springs and listen to the stories of warriors from all over Natland. 